such a nice view of them. Now, uh, this is also the start of them getting active. They start walking around, smelling, and then pretty soon they'll probably probably just dart off and start trotting around looking for food and also watch them carefully you'll see how these dogs change direction quite a lot um, and that's also what makes them very difficult to follow but this is exciting I would that I'm just gonna hang back a little bit because I think they're gonna start Heading off, it looks like some of the pack have headed off in a easterly direction now from where we are. Oh, and once they start going, tails up, there they go. <laughs> and this is going to get exciting, I think. I think to try and keep up with them. Now, Gallego Road is not far in that direction. You can still see the pack moving through here. Hold on a second. Now the other cars are racing around already to try to see them go through. I just want to try, also what helps sometimes is if somebody just hangs back and tries to keep a, a, an eye on them just in case they change direction, but, um, but they could very easily disappear quite quickly. As you can see, you could just still see one or two trotting through there. I can actually see the other road from here. But I think these dogs are going to come out. Stormy C, you asked if the, the wild dogs will ever take on a predator. Um, yes, not necessarily to hunt, but, um, but Stormy C, they'd take them on in terms of trying to chase them away. Lions, hyena, leopard, the pack will work together and try and intimidate those animals and try and get them to move away. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to hang around. I'm not going to follow those other cars. I'll tell you why. Because I th think the general direction of these dogs was north. So I'm going to wait on this break, on this boundary. And hopefully we get them coming out. And uh, again, predictive guiding. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm thinking they're possibly going to join a road and come out. Um, onto this northern boundary we might get them running down the road before they actually cross north that's what I think is going to happen so let's see let's see I'm gonna listen to the radio listen to these other guys yeah see there we go there we go got them there they are oh they're chasing Impala they're chasing Impala everyone hold on there you go the Impala Let's just wait here. They're gonna, they're gonna come out here. I saw one. I thought I saw one running through there. Let's just keep a good look out. As I thought, they were heading north. So I think we're gonna see them pretty soon. Uh, I wonder. I think they might have actually caught something already. Uh, I think they've caught something outside. So they managed to catch an impala already. So that was lucky. Let's see. Let's go see. Now, some of you, just to, I mean, we, we do sometimes just warn viewers if you are sensitive. Let's go. Um, sorry, just hold on. Henry, if you copy back this way down uh, Gallagher Road, uh, just down the side. Um, I think they're in the drainage line here and I think they've managed to don't know what they've managed to catch but as I said just um, if you are a bit sensitive I'm not sure what the sighting is going to be like we'll have a look see they flush the here yeah, there they are there they are they're feeding you know what I'm gonna do sorry sorry Craig We 
we'll get a good view from this side, I think. And they are, and they are feeding. Oh, wow. So, look at them. Not sure what they've caught. Looks like an impala. It was those impala that we saw being flushed out. It is indeed an impala that they've managed to catch. Isn't this amazing, everyone? The pack working together, flushing out impala. And we saw those impala run out. And, and just watch them. They're very, very efficient hunters. So quick. Uh, not even 10 minutes after them waking up and moving around. This is amazing. Now look, those faces covered in blood, um, but very efficient. As I said, the, this kill would have, or oh, it hardly took minutes. And look, that, that kill is almost finished. These wild dogs will rip it apart. All of them get a really good amount of food, and um, and then they'll move on again. But this is amazing. I'm just trying to see, is that a... Trying to see if I could see a, a horn or anything. I'm not sure if it was a female. They're tearing apart this this impala. And the other thing is nothing goes to waste. Wild dogs will eat everything within minutes and then they finish and move on, especially a pack of this size. Yeah, this is the pack of nine that we we did see. Our beard, you said you wouldn't want this pack to decide that you food. No, exactly not. You wouldn't. Oh, this is amazing. Really incredible. <laughs> I haven't seen a wild dog off on the hunt and, and uh, and feeding like this for quite some time so it's always great it's exciting as I was saying oh here we go what have we got flying there is that a vulture already no it's a tawny eagle sorry just looked up I was looking through the screen it's a tawny eagle it just flew over us now remember I said the tawny eagle is a scavenger so it's probably already looking around for food and it might even perch on one of these dead trees and has done exactly that can't really see it from where we are now, but it's perched. But what I find interesting and fascinating, and I've spoken about this a number of times before, those impala all bolted out towards us on um, on that northern break, and not one of them, not one of them, alarm called. And now we've spoken about how the impala react differently to different uh, predators. With wild dog, they may give off one alarm call, but then they run. They don't stand an alarm call like they do with lion or leopard. With those predators, the ambush predators, they prefer keeping an eye on them. But with the wild dog, it's literally, they know. These wild dog um, are persistence hunters. They run down, they run down the, the, the prey. Oh, there's some stomach contents there. Off it goes with that. That can't be very good. And Brenda, you know what? This kill happened far too quick for the um, for hyenas to be around. That's why we're no hyenas around just yet. Now, there was a hyena lying close to these wild dogs this morning. And they do follow them from time to time to see if they can pick up any scraps. But there's nothing left. This entire carcass is gone. There's, there's a few... I mean, they're still trying to tear parts of it um, apart but there's nothing nothing left you can hear every now and then you can hear those high-pitched squeals from the dogs too this is, there we go especially with them now fighting for the last little bits of meat
and just as I said, everyone, you know that patience, waiting, and, you know, and understanding that the chances of these wild dogs hunting in the afternoon are very good, and it's paid off for us. No, I've got it. <laughs> Jacqueline, you say they're gone in minutes. Uh, uh, that, that kill is its amazing. A full grown impala like that uh, feed nine dogs. They do require a lot of meat. Um, and you can see they are covered in blood. But later they'll lie down, they'll start grooming one another, clean each other up. And this is nature, everyone. Sometimes it's tough tough to watch and tough to see, but, but it's survival of the fittest and there's an abundance of, of impala and that's why they are a big food source for a lot of predators and it's so important for these dogs these endangered wild dogs to survive they need to hunt they need to feed and this is really wonderful this looks like quite a big dog i wonder if this isn't perhaps an alpha male very very large dog i'm not sure into that sound <laughs> and look at those white tails up in the air these dogs are very excited have a good meal like this this is perfect listen One dog right next to us, very, very close to us. see they're still just ripping there's just a bit of skin left and some of the ribs but all the meat seems to be gone <laughs> as I, I mentioned it this morning but for me the wild dogs are by far the most exciting predators to follow because the chances are you're going to see some action of very very good another dog quite close to us and the reason for that is that um, one urinated over there and I think that's this dog is just smelling that at the moment Tesla um, seven years old I've never heard of wild dogs um, feeding on other wild dogs I don't think so I don't think so at all um, look they are territorial and packs do fight amongst themselves if they do bump into each other but I don't necessarily um, I mean look it's a possibility if you think of how predators react to one another but I haven't heard or I haven't seen wild dogs kill other wild dogs There's a hyena that is now running in this direction. Now these sounds, these high-pitched squeals that we've heard, would very possibly, um, very possibly attract hyena. But I, I don't think a hyena would be brave enough to come in um, and try and chase these wild dogs off. I've seen wild dogs, and I think Brent actually had a sighting um, last year, if I'm not mistaken, of wild dogs chasing and attacking a hyena. Now they're very tenacious, working as a pack. They see something or hear something. Is it, is it a hyena here? <laughs> Just having a look around to see what they heard, what they smelt. I don't see anything at the moment. Oh, wow, look.
architect. Such an exciting sighting. Joe, um, I would say the, the biggest reason wild dog are endangered is probably because of man. Um, and the reason for that is we've obviously set up game reserves, we've set up um, communities and areas in close to the, the, the wilderness. So these animals interact with um, domestic pets, but also because their natural habitat has been encroached upon and closed up. And that is why the wild dogs are so, so endangered. Even though the game reserves are set up because there are communities and cities and areas that have um, moved and closed their natural habitat. That's exactly why the wild dog are endangered. One dog has got, that one's just feeding on little last few bits. Now look at the, that, that one dog is very white. The one on the left, you can see beautiful white pattern, white markings. That is a really beautiful coat for a wild dog, wow. And look at that, that carcass is just about finished. I don't see anything left really uh, oh here comes <laughs> one trotting out with the bone the leg but just as we said they wow there's nothing left of that carcass that is amazing uh, one just carried the leftover remains into the long grass but really nothing left This is so exciting. Henry, if you copy, would you like to stay in the sighting? I don't mind making space for Mike. Are you sure? <laughs> Dogs are very close behind us over here. There's some moving around. Oh no, there's one dog that's decided to defecate very close to us and that's not good because that can stink. <laughs> there's wild dogs everywhere, all around us now. one if we look at that it's such beautiful color the contrast with the red on that um, on the brown and black face of that wild dog all right now let's just have a look there is a hyena approaching apparently one of the other vehicles can just see it can't see it yet. It'll be interesting. I'd, I'd love to see if this hyena decides to take on this wild dog. That would just be silly. Alright, this 
one dog will probably see the hyena soon. There we go. It's just seen it. Let's see what happens. See those ears. Uh, we can't see the hyena from where we are just yet. I caught a glimpse of it. It's actually on the road. Um, but we won't be able to see it for the moment. Let's just wait. See, I also think these hyena are smarter than they look sometimes. I think they realize when they're outnumbered. And it must be it must be very difficult for those hyena. They can probably hear the crunching of the bones and Oh, hang on. Taylor's managed to find wild dogs too. Let's head across to her. Right, it seems as though there's dogs all around this afternoon. We have another just running through the grass. There they go. I haven't quite worked out who it is just yet. Let me go up a little bit further, Senzel. And 